Now I'm going to share about how God saved me and how He transformed my spiritual life. In the whole process, I really appreciate God. And I want to say this, whenever I think of God, I really like Him very much. Amen. Because God is really great and wonderful. Okay, now before I was converted, I was in a, a, a studying in a, let's see, that's about grade um, 12 uh, in Hong Kong. Okay. And the work was uh, very heavy, the study was very heavy. I have to study until I hear a ringing sound in my ear at night. Okay. And then I started to ask this question, why do I have to study so hard? And then my answer was, you know, I study hard so that in the future I'll have a good job. And then what next? Okay, getting married, maybe have children. And then what next? Growing old. <laughs> and one day die. <laughs> so, so I said at that time, you know, why do I have to study so hard? And it's because I don't find meaning in life if it's just for 80, 90 years. So at that time I thought I just enjoy life anytime that's you know enjoying life. But one day I read a science book. And in the introduction the the author said something like this. He said that this world is full of you know wonderful design and it came from God. I was very interested. Because if life doesn't just end when I die, and then I can live forever. To me, that's something very wonderful. But I look for proofs. I want to have proofs that this is real. And I study the proofs. And I found that there were really proofs that God is real. And the Bible is God's word. And then when I believed in Jesus, I was very excited. Every day when I woke up, I would say, oh, there is really a God and there is really heaven. And I told my friends and my family members all about Jesus. My stepmother at that time told me, don't tell me about Jesus again. <laughs> but after a while, I told her again. And then she said, don't tell me again. <laughs> and then after a period of time, I told her again. I, I, have, I have told many people about Jesus. And then also, in the first year after I became a Christian, I said to the Lord, if it is your will, I'm willing to be a pastor. And 
So I studied to be a minister. And after I became a minister, I was very, you know, I was very diligent to try to bring people to Jesus. But I found that it's easier to bring people to Jesus and it's harder to bring people to love Jesus and serve Jesus. And then in 1998, I went to a meeting of an evangelist Carlos Anacondia from Argentina. And he laid hand on me. And the moment he touched me, I felt great power like electricity enter me. And I felt great love fill me instantly. And I also experienced a freedom. I just experienced a great, a big change. And I cried for a long time. Actually, immediately when he touched me. And I said, I didn't know I can experience God like that. And I said, I really want to keep that presence of God. So I, so I spent a long time praying after that. And a second thought came to me. If this evangelist can pray for people, then he can experience the love of God like that. And I said, I want to be like that too. And so when I pray, spend more time praying, and I be, began to be able to experience love and joy and power when I pray, anytime I pray. But there was a long process of going through how to open my heart to God. And after I experienced the Holy Spirit, also the Holy Spirit let me know all my hidden sins. Before that experience, I did try to overcome my sins. But I did not do it with all my effort. After I experienced the Holy Spirit, someone asked me to pray for her. And when I prayed for her, they said that she and some other people present said, No, no, one They experienced power when I lay hands on them. So I realized that, that with the power of the Holy Spirit, I can do much more in ministry. So I was motivated to take care of all sins in my life. I don't want any sin to take away the full blessings of God and also following God's perfect plan. And also, I, God gave me the desire how to go higher and higher in ministry. Not necessarily for myself. No, no, no. I just, you know, I, I, I thank God that he has given me the heart, his heart. That when I see people, I just want to bless them and help them. I just want to know that, let them know how wonderful God is. And also, 
I receive messages from God how to teach better. How to motive, motivate people to serve God. And so in the process, God raised me up higher and higher. So in this process, first my life, you know, God raised me up to a high level and raised me up to a total submission to God. And also in the first 10 years after I experienced the Holy Spirit, God let me experience a lot of difficulties. And God guided me how learn how to not to be affected by people. No, no, Imani Yijisha, Kutawa was one Navan, Changwase, Avan, Kutan Hera, Ingaruka. Surely, after experience of Holy Spirit, Yo, Mother Kuzura, Isombaragazumuka Weda, I call up someone to share about my experience. A ye Mama Garumunungase, a book of Janji. But this person did not accept the work of the Holy Spirit. Ariku Munna wages a ye Mera, Imbaragazumuka Weda. And she was very angry. And then hanged up the phone. No, no, Arak, Mono, we did a curry telephone. After, hang, hang up, after she hang up the phone, when I pray, I did not have the joy coming to me. No, no, Koya, we are in the curry telephone. Imagine saying this in a jira, Mune, zero curry. And I said, you know, that, and then the Lord conveyed a message to me. Imana, Imubutumna, that I have to take care of this. Ko, Ivingomba, Kuvichemura. So I call her again. No, Jira, Mama, Gara, Womu. Now, my sharing with her is not wrong. So I cannot say, I'm so, uh, you know, uh, it's wrong for me to share with you. But I said to her, if I made you unhappy, I'm sorry. But she was still angry. And hang up the phone again. And then the Lord told me, you have taken care of the problem already. So just relax when you pray. And then when I relaxed, the joy came again. So from, the Lord also gave me this idea. From now on, any problem you face in the world, handle it in a similar way. So that started my journey how to handle different problems in my life. How not to be affected by the lack of money. How not to be affected by negative people. How not to be affected by difficulties in ministry. Okay. Now in the process, when I pray for many people, they experience a lot of healing, demons driven out, they experience a love and a joy and a peace of God, and many people's life changed. And I brought many people to Jesus. And I also brought many people to, willing, to be willing to obey God and serve God. So I, I raised up missionaries and pastors, which I could not do in the past. So that raised up my ministry. But God started to give me more ideas. When I can raise up the spiritual life of lay people, and also God guided me to put my videos online. And a number of pastors asked me for help. And I found that many pastors find ministry very difficult. And even pastors, they say, uh, God is not helping me. 
So I see the need to help pastors. So gradually God guided me not just to train lay people. No, no, Imana, Uhoro, Uhoro, Nagaru, Naganjan, Mugutos, Avanugusa. When I go to different countries, Yunja Mugu Vitando Kanye, God guided me to talk to the pastors and say to them, Imana, and your way of Kuvgan is the Vapas and Okua Gira. It's important that you learn the teachings. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be like me. But you can learn whatever it is helpful to you and apply to your ministry and I'm willing to help pastors how to carry on this uh, this help so that the church will grow more so God give me higher and higher strategies and I've seen many pastors changed Amen. And, and so I want to say that you too, you know, you can go higher and higher when you want to serve God. When you see that God is so good, it's very important. Now some people serve God, why? Because they have nothing else to do. But I hope that you serve God because you see God is so good and wonderful. <coughs> and to serve God is the best way in life. Our life will go to a higher level. And we can, our life can be, you know, used to a greater extent. And in the process, I found that God really blessed me in every area. In providing for me so I can go to different countries. In giving me health and strength. No, I'm already 66 years old. And I don't need, I don't need eye glasses to read small letters. There are people 20 years younger than I. Whenever they read small letters, they have to change to a different eye glasses. So I see God's blessings when I follow God. I also receive confirmations from God in different ways. There have been 10 people who told me they saw me in a dream or a vision before I went to the place. Now, one, I'm going to share with one story in South Africa. When I went to South Africa, there was one sister who told me. On the same day I arrived at South Africa, she had a dream in that night. In that dream, she was chased by someone and she was very much afraid and she ran and she went to a house and she looked inside and saw a Chinese boy there. She asked the Chinese boy to open the door and she went inside and she saw a number of Chinese praying and then she saw me come up to her and say, Can I, do you like me to pray for you? And the moment I touch her when I pray for her, she experienced great love and joy. Immediately she woke up and she was still laughing when she woke up. She said it was me 
from the look on her face. And she says she never dreamed to see Chinese in her dreams. And also when I came to her, when I prayed for her in, in my real person, she also experiences joy and love. Susie so saw what she experienced in a dream also came true in real life. And then also my teaching is also about the love and the joy of the Lord. Now you go online and look for South Africa Pastor Yip. 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 Uh, then you can see this testimony. What I, what I want to say is when you really follow God totally, you will receive confirmation from God that he is happy with your ministry, that he will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have many more wonderful stories, but I, I, we don't have time. You will add on in the evening.